Jackson, what are you doing? That's Chucky. <laughs> Good morning guys, um, we're all ready to go now. Just go. Yeah. Okay. Um, the boys just need some shoes on, but we'll do that in a minute. Like, when we get in the car, because Ped and shoes are in the car. Why? I think I said this in a vlog a while ago, but the dog behind us keeps digging into our yard. And I'm like running out of things to put on the hole. And it's like, I thought that the dog had no owners, but they have like a light on and the window's open, I don't know what's going on. We actually thought the dog was abandoned so we called the RSPCA. <coughs> and the RSPCA told us, that's not our jurisdiction, you have to call the police. But then the night, that night, the light came on and the window opened so I was like, oh, maybe it's not abandoned. Just the owners are irresponsible and just decide not to fill up holes that their dog fucking digs. Like, seriously, it's a massive, Husky, I think, and like, if that gets into my yard, it's probably gonna kill Harry. And it's like, well, what? It, like, you should probably be preventing that. <laughs> but I don't know what to do. I might like grab a chair and look over the fence again because, like, it's like the window and light have been on for days. Like, someone's done it for some reason. I don't know. I'm just fucking sick of it because, like, I'm on my side of the yard plugging up holes that their dog's digging, trying to prevent it from coming into my yard. But like. Seriously, do something about it. I'm, I'm really, I don't even know who else to call. Like, I don't think I want to call the cops because I'm sound like an idiot. Oh, there's a dog, might be abandoned, digging into my yard. Like, what are they going to do? Nothing. I've got more important things wow, to do. Toys. Toys? Yeah. Everyone's like, put Harry's shit in there, put peppercorns in there, but like, I don't think any of that's going to work. <laughs> Alrighty, we are heading off to school now. Um, Mum got me these new glasses, they're pretty cool. They're like the same as my other ones, but different colour. So, yeah, just heading off to school now. Um, Bobby has dancing class tomorrow. Caden's really excited for Jackson. He's got dance, like a little dance class thing tomorrow. Yeah. So, hopefully that's good. I think um, Gabby's going to come so she can try and get a little bit of footage to show you. But, yeah, other than that, I don't think we... Oh, I'm going to live Avon books today. Tomorrow, Jackson's got dance class, and I'm gonna take me and my to a couple of places, so yeah. So, I just took grandma to the shop quickly, um, and grandma wanted me to buy some hair clippers, so I got him these. So, now I'm gonna cut his hair, I think. Just show him. These are the only ones I had. So I just finished packing up the Avon books and stuff. I'm just about to go deliver them. But Jackson and I are just having a honey sandwich each and then we'll head off and get this delivery done. Alrighty, um, got Jackson. A, he's got his sandwich and his drink and stuff. So I keep him occupied for a bit. Got all my Avon stuff I've got to deliver. So let's go get this done. It should probably take me probably half an hour, I reckon. So. I'll see you after I'm done that. Well, I thought we were running shoes on. Where's your shoes? Oh, nice hair, Grandad. Someone pretty cool must have cut your hair. You going that way? Yes. So I finished delivering Avon books. And when I went to mum's, they were heading off to drop Gabby off at work. And so they were coming to grandma's, so I've come to grandma's. 
Jackson's going to feed the birds. I'll show you. What are you laughing at? Good job you the head is there. Hey, Dan! <laughs> Do you know the dirty old spot? I was so close to grabbing my camera and getting a photo because Grandma was like, and Grandma was like, it was so funny. He farted and I was right behind him. Yes, Granddad farted. farted and Grandma was behind him. It was like that donkey. My mouth was open and everything. <laughs> I was going to be a little fella. But then he was in that, oh, he wants to tell Keanu. Oh, that's a teak. Ah, uh, where are they? In the cupboard, the little one, honey. Second shelf there, right down side. And I'm coming out. I was going to be in the little fella, and I realised he was in our sister. You fart, you dirty old son. And he just laughs. No, he also said, they just slip out. It fell out. Yeah, he always says it just fell out. You didn't hear about that. Oh, my granddad looks pretty. Every time I stand up. Ew. I sneak out. <laughs> The Queen is living. Oh, don't forget, you know the bag is there. <laughs> no, I'll leave him for you. All right, so Jackson's in bed. I'm gonna spend this time trying to have a nap. Um, it's 1.20 and I've got my alarm set for 2.30, so that means gives me plenty of time to get up, get Jackson in the car and head to the school. So anyway, I'll see you in a little while. Hey friends. Can you go get Kay from school? Mm. Go, go get brother. Um, we're off to go pick Kay from school, so we should see him soon. Baby boy's still sleepy. <laughs> I might leave him at grandma's, I normally do. See how he goes. Alright, goodbye. goodbye. So we're just in the line at Hungry Jack's getting frozen drinks, and then we're gonna head over to Tom and Nicole's to see them, because we have not seen them. In a while. Thanks. Oh, girl links. Nice. <laughs> I'm like hella sweaty, so I'm like, Nicole, you got some deodorant? We're at the There's Nicole. <laughs> the boys are just chilling. Alright. Hi. Oh, hi. I see. You got shoes. Can you help me get my shoes? Oh, oh. You're pretty. But I was singing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh your feet stink. They're so sweaty. Mm -hmm. How? You're a child. You're a child. Jackson's like, can I have your socks? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, they're sweaty. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you got sweaty feet. <laughs> We're at Meemaw's now. I have to wake Caden up, take them inside, and then grab all my bags. I bring stuff so the boys can have a bath here as well so that they can just go to bed when they get home. You had a hard day at school, baby? Oh, my little me. You want the pillow? Mum, the pillow's just under the washing. 
Lift your little head. So I've just come to Botland Bird to get some chips to go tea. So we're having steak with mushroom sauce, chips and salad. Thank you. What are you doing? That's Yucky. <laughs> Ew. Yucky, that's for pool. Put it back. <coughs> Yo, that's great. You know how poo goes on there? Huh? Lucky you're getting your hair washed. Put it down. Yucky, it's got poo. Ew. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Jackson's carrying around Jesse on the phone and he's like showing him outside and just walking him around the house and stuff. Are you going to talk to daddy? Going to show dad Ralph? That's a lot of fun. Ali, can I say hello, Daddy? No. <laughs> this is the first time Jackson's been super upset about Jesse being gone. He just talked to him on the phone. <laughs> now he's sad. <laughs> so we're just heading home now, but look how nice the sky looks. It's gonna be a wicked day tomorrow. And Dad, if you wanna watch this, you should back today because it's good out. <laughs> it's nice isn't it? I might go down to the highway and see if I can get a better look at it for you because there's trees and stuff everywhere here. Soon. See you in the morning. Alright, Caden's gonna put on a movie and then go to sleep, aren't you? Alright, so I don't really have too much cleaning to do tonight. Just tidy up a few things, but because I didn't cook tea, the kitchen's pretty much clean. Just got a few things to put away. But I need to go clean out stuff out the car because Caden's bag, lunchbox, like everything I need is in there. So I'm gonna go grab that stuff out and sort that out. I am literally so stressed out right now. I'm about to start cleaning and then Harry's barking at the fence again. Went out there, the stupid fucking dog from behind me is digging into my goddamn yard again. Like how many times do I have to fill up these fucking holes before the owner of the actual dogs decides that they're going to fucking fill the holes in that their dog is making like. I don't even know who else to call, what else to do, like I don't even know there's people there. I know there's two dogs there now. But, um, like, the curtain is open, the light's on, but it's on and open all day, all night, every day. Like, 
I don't know what else to do. I'm just so sick of trying to fill in all these goddamn holes because of someone else's dog. Like, if that dog gets in my yard, my dog's fucked because it's like a massive dog and Harry's like some little dog. It's just so stressful. So anyway, I'm going to take a break. Um, Caden's in the folder. Came with um, like a little parent survey. So I'm going to call up Jesse and see if he wants to do it with me. But anyway, I'm going to relax for a bit because I'm just freaking over this shit. So wish me luck on calming down.